Hey, how you doing? Uh, it's Friday afternoon, and uh, I'm doing a little uh, breakdown of a cue I just finished. All right, so let me play it from the beginning. Here we go. Pause here because there's dialogue and back in. One, two. Another pause. So this is an orchestral cue for a three and a half minute film for the Kennedy Center Honors. Um, it's the bio, biopic for um, Norman Lear. Uh, there's a second film uh, I, I provided some music for, which was a uh, All in the Family retrospective. Uh, I can't show the film or the voiceover um, until after the f show has happened, but we can certainly talk about the music. Um, so basic, this is my basic setup in the purple area here. Uh, let's zoom in here. Um, okay, so I've got all my winds up here in the purple area. And then I've got a winds VCA for the high winds, some low winds that are sections, and then some high brass, trumpet, solo horn, two horns, 12 horns, trombones, and then some low brass patches, some orchestral percussion cymbals, timpani, snare drum, tubular bell, orchestra bells. There was some xylophone, but um, I have it muted. Piano and harp, and notice how everything's color coordinated. My strings, I've got a lot of string patches. So I've got string runs. 
I've got violins, a large ensemble, violin, one and two, viola, cello, basses, and ensemble. Then chamber violins, one and two, violas, cello, basses, and ensemble. And then I've got um, some uh, ensemble patches here. I've got this flautando string patch here. That's really pretty that I use. Uh, it's a whole ensemble. And then I've got these other um, articulations that are unusual, and I'll show you these in a little bit more depth, uh, going all the way down here to evolving, uh, evolving textures and stuff. And then uh, all my subgroups here, my effects, um, music out, and then there's where the dialogue is, but I've got that muted and the video track. All right, so this piece starts off with some ethereal chords on the piano. And then I've got that doubled with, um, or I've got that filled out with these really interesting strings. So I've got these flotando strings, doubled uh, an octave lower with these air and ice strings. And these are all uh, this whole track is pretty much done with Spitfire audio libraries. Right, and then I fill that out with an octave lower uh, bass note here. It's really nice. These are string, these are, you know, single notes that have a lot of dynamics and um, animation to them. so that when you play that with the other strings and the piano, you get a really nice texture. And then this is the beginning of the, of the um, look back, and it starts in his childhood, and they wanted something energetic and uplifting, and then I needed to leave a few spots because they related some of the things that happened in his childhood to different scenes and all in the family. So uh, we start out with these pulsing strings and a piano melody. And then that hit is just a piano and a tenuto horn patch. Um, also, the other thing that's really kind of cool here that I do is I've got this pulsing harp. It's really nice with the strings. Really nice with the strings. And then this is the pause where they have the uh, little interlude from All in the Family. And I needed to leave silence for that, uh, what they wanted. And now we go on to the next section, which is a continuation. <laughs> got these strings here and I've got this little Lydian thing on the four chord here. Right there, right there. That, um, da, da, da. So that's B flat C and F, B flat D and F, just a triad. So I like to do stuff like that with inner lines that move around. It gives a lot of uh, juice. And then I've got this... Uh, and then I actually have that doubled with, um, if I zoom up here, with these uh, low winds. It's really cool. And then all together. Right, a continuation of the piano melody and the harp also uh, is in there. And then a return of that uh, back 
back to the beginning idea again, and then we're going to transition because there's a section here that gets really more serious uh, before the Second World War. Look at that. So I've got these strings here. Let's see if I can bring up some notation for that. Oh, that was a bad move. I've got everything selected. All right. Um, give it a second here. All right. Let me unselect all of these. Pro Tools is uh, my comp the notation thing is insane. All right, that's good. And uh, let's open this up. And we want to actually have none of this stuff except for chamber winds on ensemble, chamber strings ensemble. OK, great. So let me do away with these. And we can close these things. Good. All right, we can take a look at this here from right here. Now, I mean, this is Pro Tools notation. It's really rough. And you notice that I've got some accents going on um, there. And that's all done with velocity. So if we just go here to this notate this view here, uh, we can't see the velocity there. Something weird is going on. And then with that, I've got some uh, harp. <laughs> so I've got these low notes on the piano and the harp here. So I tend to orchestrate like that. All these things fit together. Everything has its own purpose, right? While the um, these chamber strings here are doing the harmonies and the you know pushing forward. Right, the piano is giving us our bass notes, and then that piano is being um, doubled with the timpani. Also, the low notes are being doubled with these winds here. All right, if you look at the velocity here, you could see that there's a lot of accented stuff going on. transition to these really ethereal, it's really ethereal section. So let me play this here. All right, so these are these uh, really cool Spitfire audio swarm patches. Right, so if I bring down contact down here, we could see these things. And they've got all these really cool um, pulsing. So this is strings. So these are really great for layering in and animating your sound. I love to have my mixes dynamic and animated. I just can't stand static music. And then I double that with these winds here. And then what's happening there with music is um, these chords that are uh, stacked fifths. Right? So if I get into the notation, um, we can see that. All right, we have G and D, F and C, 
and then down a whole step, F and C, E flat and B flat, and then down a minor third. So it's kind of like a modal um, sound with these open fifths, they're very uh, ethereal sounding. And yes, there's a measure of 13, 16 there because it's time to the picture. Um, It's really cool. So now there's other instruments that come in. There's harp, a couple notes on the harp, and then an oboe a melody and a clarinet and a flute that come in a little further down the line. Further down the line. So let's see. We got flute, oboe, clarinet, English horn, and then let me get those. Uh, all right, let's see what we've got here. So some of these these things here, like this bit, there are no these are uh, patch chain, key switches, so they're really uh, they shouldn't be in there. There's not a note actually playing that. They just change the articulation on this track. And then um, this looks a little odd because I have to overlap notes to get the legato to speak correctly. And again, I'm using fifths here, so from F to C, from C to G, and then back to the F, which is contained in these open fifth chords here. So it's really, uh, I like it a lot. And then I've got this little thing in the harp. And then clarinet. And then now we're starting another section uh, because we went through uh, this really horrible speech by this Father Coughlin. It was an anti-Semitic speech that he heard and it affected the rest of his life. And then he, after Pearl Harbor, which is in this section here, he joined World War II. And then after World War II was over, over he settled with his family in Los Angeles and started trying to become a TV writer. So the music's a little more optimistic here. I've got this nice little piano figure. simple, right? It's just one chord to a four chord, but I've got these open uh, intervals here, which are kind of nice. So I've got, I don't have a third in there, right? Again, that's that open fifth idea that I um, introduced a little while ago. And even this B flat, F and C, that too, that also could be revoiced to be an open fifth if I take that C and jump it up an octave. Right, so I'm sort of doing the same type uh, stuff with this little piano figure that I introduced with those ethereal strings. Right, and then that gets filled out with some strings, orchestral strings. Nita. Strings, uh, they, they grow, and there's a pizzicato in there. So let's see how that all unfolds. Oh, got to get my pitch, uh, pat, patch change, key switch. This was uh, his first big uh, success in the films because he started getting little TV gigs in the 50s throughout that and then in the mid to late 60s, he put out a, like a, a dark comedy called Love Ameri Divorce American Style. And that's this faster section coming up here. And then Viet 
Vietnam era and how things started changing in our country. So let's just break down that one section though. So from here, we've got these uh, high, high strings. So let's just solo the strings. <laughs> We've got that with uh, some brass. Right, so. Right, again, I like to accent things, so I do that with velocity on those staccato patches. And I've got these winds here. fix that go back and remix that okay we'll go and then again we have this ethereal section and that's again with these um, animated patches here that unfold over time and just a little some bass notes added with the orchestral basses. A little transition section to when All in the Family starts and the huge string of sitcoms that he had. A little bit more dramatic here. Here we are, uh, he's made it to the Nixon's enemy list, which is kind of funny. Um, and they have uh, audio of Nixon talking about it. And so then I uh, brought back these open fifth strings that were in the, uh, by the um, Pearl Harbor section. But I've uh, expanded them a little bit more. ascending line here I love right so these are fifths in the upper two voices and fifths in the lower two voices so it's really nice and then I do a side sl slip up a half step right in this area here uh, so this is in G minor and then it goes to G uh, to B to B minor uh, from this B flat chord um, yeah because I'm eventually heading to D so we'll uh, that's sort of like going from borrowing from minor B flat would be this flat six in D to the regular six in D cadencing on five, suspended five chords. So that's kind of cool. All right, and then we bring back the uh, that um, he starts getting active in politics, people for the uh, American way, and we have here that little piano figure from before. Right, so basically, um, I've expanded upon those ethereal fifth strings from the Pearl Harbor section. And then right after that, uh, World War II is over. He brings his family to Los Angeles, and there's that optimistic piano part. And I've sort of done the same thing here, starting with the Nixon tapes and um, through the moral majority. And now for him getting involved in politics um, and affecting what he considers to be positive change, um, I've now got that piano figure back. But it's much more orchestrated now with trumpets and a pulsing cello. Where is it? Ah, there we go. Right, so let's play that. I think. With horn. So let's listen to the winds out of there. So we have sort of all these little little fragmented lines coming in and out. So 
Um, that's a technique that I actually learned from playing in the pit of Miss Saigon because uh, there are a lot of moments in the orchestration where Bill Braun did all very similar things to that with little fragmented lines that he passed around to all the different instrument instruments. And if you listen to them all in the totality, it just gives you this sort of kaleidoscopic unfolding of uh, melodic material. And it's something I try to teach my students. Uh, I call it Pass the Peas after the James Brown tune. <laughs> And then now he, he did this thing where he bought uh, an original copy of the Declaration of Independence and he rented a truck and he toured it around America and so that a, a lot of people that would never have an opportunity to see that saw it and so now I wanted something that and we're going towards the end um, and they wanted a big build uplifting sweeping so we start with that <laughs> F major to A flat, uh, the previous, and we've modulated here, and we're actually in this section borrowing from minor. But there's a couple things. I wanted to play the string section here because I did some really cool stuff here. Right, so that's a nice pulse in the lower strings for the first half of this. I love that. So let's listen to the, uh, and then I've got a big horn section, 12 horns. It's uh, from the Cine Samples Library. It's one of the only non-Spitfire instruments in here. And the big uplifting ending. It sounds like the sports thing. All right, let's go back and take it from the top and then I'll sign off. family bit.
Okay, there's one other thing I actually wanted to show. Um, and let me just do this, select all. And uh, I do a lot of detail work on, this, on these things in several areas. I do a lot of mod wheel work. As you can see, a lot of stuff drawn in. And that's for dynamics. Uh, I also do a lot of expression work, right? Also for volume. Um, there is also, uh, right, this is controller 21, which controls the amount of vibrato in, a, in the sat, pat, patch and all this stuff. So I draw all these things in to help with the animation of the sound. Anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this, and thanks for watching, and I'll stream something else at some other point. Have a good day.